Coach, thanks for taking the time and coming in here and talking to us today. Thank you. It's good to be here. Tell me this. You were a tennis pro in Kentucky, but when you were doing that, when did you find that love or, or that desire that you wanted to get into college coaching? Well, the, you almost have to backtrack a little bit because okay. right after I finished college, the first job I had out of college was to start a women's college tennis program at my alma mater, Thomas More College. They did not have a women's program. So I did that for two years. I started it from scratch and then moved on. It wasn't something that I could get paid much money for. Uh, and then went on and went into being a teaching pro and running tennis clubs, managing clubs. Um, but I, I kind of found that passion and that love and I was like, wow, I didn't know I liked that that much. So as time went on and, and teaching tennis and uh, running clubs kind of started to take its toll on me, um, I started thinking about what is it that I want to do for the rest of my life. And I wanted to do something I was really passionate about and that was coaching. And I've always loved high performance coaching, uh, more so than coaching beginners. That's just kind of my niche. And so I, just college coaching was, was the right fit for me and I just started moving gradually uh, toward, back towards coaching again. When you come to a new place like Liberty, I'm sure you have an outlook of what you want the program to look like, but in a coach's mind, is that like a 10-year outlook for you? Because you've had a lot of success so far, but I guess when's your end goal? When do you expect that to happen? Well, I came here and actually presented a five and a 10-year goal. So our five-year goal was to, to progress the program to the point where we were competing for national rankings and we were competing for conference championships. And so we've, we've been doing that. Uh, our 10-year goal is, and that's from 5 till 10, is to be dominating the conference, winning the conference championship most every year, and, and remaining in the national rankings. So I feel like the team that we have developed and now the recruits that we have brought in to add to our returners is going to be able to start that dynasty. And that's really what we're looking to do in the next five years is to create a dynasty. Your son is a, a Pittsburgh sports guy. I've seen it. You, though, from, from Texas, that has to be a little bit of a conflict. You know, Steelers and Cowboys, how do you work that out? Or, or have you just joined the black and gold? Have you just given up and said, okay, I'll be a Pittsburgh guy? Well, I've never given up. I will never give up being a Cowboys fan. Okay. I, I still have a cowboy, my Cowboy stuff, yeah. you know. And I've been a Cowboys fan since I was a little boy. Um, and I've always competed in my mind against the Steelers. <laughs> my brother was actually a Steelers fan, so we were, we were always competing with that. Um, but once my son became a big Steelers fan, my wife is originally from Pittsburgh, so her whole family are Steelers and Pirates and Penguins fans. Um, it just kind of started to wear on me, and you know, and so I, and for for gifts, I bring my son to games, and so then I'm watching the games. I'm like, go Roethlisberger, and I'm like, what am I saying? You know, so uh, you know, it just kind of it's kind of moved into me. So I'm always a Cowboys fan, but yeah, I do cheer for the for the for the black and gold too. Yeah, let's talk about your family life a little bit. Get away from the, from the job and, and look at home. I saw on your Facebook page, there's a picture of you. Your face is superimposed on a Jedi. Are you like a Star Wars guy? Oh, yes. Are you? Oh, What's your yeah. favorite one? Well, uh, Revenge of the Sith, I okay. think. Yeah, Revenge of the Sith. So I've, I've seen them all, and I've seen them all many, many times. Uh, yeah, it's a big part, actually a big part of our life. In fact, our two cats um, are Boba and Jenga from <laughs> Boba Fett and Jenga Fett. So those were their names. So uh, we, we are really into Star Wars, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> My final question for you is, if I had to take tennis out of your life, what would you do after that? If you could not coach tennis or be involved, what would your second passion be? Well, um, probably I would, I would do a lot of missions work. I think that's something that I, I enjoy. I've done that in the past and uh, traveled and, and uh, done some missions work and have really enjoyed that aspect of it. My wife loves it too. She's actually done more of it than I have. Um, but I think that's probably the route that we would take. We would probably go in that direction. Awesome. Well, Coach, great talking to you. Thanks for your time. All right.